How's it going, everybody? Pajama stacking here. Today, I thought I'd talk about um, some coin sets and ask uh, the community. The stacking and collecting community, it's like a, a hybrid. There's some people out there that only stack uh, gold or only stack silver or only uh, collect or stack coins um, or like graded coins or numismatic coins with numismatic value. Um, like I've said many times before, you know, everybody goes, it goes about it a different way. Everyone likes their own preferences. I'm kind of a hybrid. <laughs> I, uh, I just like everything. Um, I like just the generic gold and silver bullion. I like, um, more numismatic coins like Morgan dollars and graded coins. And I also really like coin sets. Uh, now there's a trade-off when it comes to coin sets is, and the biggest one I would say, the one that bothers me the most, <laughs> just because I'm a kind of OCD like this, is how do you store them? They take up a lot of space. Um, they just do. But the three I wanted to bring out and kind of talk about, show you guys today, are uh, relating to the half dollar, like the Kennedy half dollars. Um, so if you are into this hobby and you just like coins, I would highly suggest that you get a red book. This is just from 2022, but these red books are super handy and kind of cool for you to do like your own research when you see a coin that you really like and you're like, oh, how many of those were made? Or when was it made? Why was it made? Um, it's kind of cool. It, it uh, shows you all the mintages for all the coins made. And um, if you looked to, at the half dollar page, let me I have to pick up my camera here. Um, so if we're looking at half dollars, the three sets here, let's see if I can get it to focus. If you can kind of see the lowest minted half dollar ever made so far, from my understanding is that 1998S matte finish with 62,000. And it was a set that came out. And that set is this top one right here. So let's get the camera set up here and check out the set itself. Take a look at the coin. So 1998S comes in this neat little package. Let's see, it's kind of an awkward angle for me, you guys, but make it work. All right. So if you open it up here, these are the two coins, and this is the matte finish Kennedy half dollar. Let's get it to focus here. So this one, it isn't in perfect condition. I got it on eBay. Kind of see there's like a small like toning in the corner there. But this is the 1998S matte finish Kennedy half dollar, the lowest minted in existence. So I just think this is really cool. I like to go after these kind of more rare sets or rarer coins, um, mainly because I think a, they're just cool to have, like, oh, um, this is the rarest half dollar there is. That's just cool to have in your collection. But also, um, I think down the road, these more rarer sets uh, have the most potential to go up in value uh, later on. That is just pure speculation on my part, but I 
think it makes sense. Um, do you guys agree, disagree? Let me know. Um, so that was the lowest minted half dollar, the Kennedy 1998S matte finish. Pretty cool. Um, and then also this 2019 Apollo 11 50th anniversary half dollar set. I actually got this from my uncle for Christmas in either 2019 or 2020. Um, I don't know if I got it the year it came out. Probably, actually, because my uncle is pretty on top of this stuff. Uh, so shout out to my uncle. Um, this was a super cool Christmas gift. We'll never forget this and keep this forever. Um, if you look in the... Let's get the camera up again. In the red book, you can see... So this was 2019. Let's get to focus. Got to flip to the next page. So if you look at 2019... 2019S Enhanced Reverse Proof, like the IJ. It doesn't give you a number, so it's like, okay, how many of these were actually made? Well, you gotta look at the actual coin set to see. Let's see, does it say on the back? Yes. So on the back, only 100,000 of the Enhanced Reverse Proof were made. So this is the second lowest minted half dollar in existence behind the one I just showed you. This set is actually not too expensive. You can get it on Atmex for like 120 bucks, give or take. So it's not terribly expensive, um, but it's cool. You're getting the second lowest half dollar minted. Um, let's see, I may have to pick up the camera again. But, let's take a look. Here's kind of what you're gonna get. Um, let me just pick up the coins here. It's gonna be better for you guys to see. So, again guys, low effort. <laughs> this is the way I do it. Let's take these out. So these two are not silver in any way, they're just clad, um, but they just look really cool. I love reverse proof, let's get this focus, there we go. I love reverse proof coins, I think they're the prettiest design that they make. And this one is just clad, no silver, but very pretty. Beautiful coin, let's take a look that reverse proof. It's only 100,000 of these made. And then we got the domed coin. It's kind of curved. You can see that. There's a BU and a proof version of this. This is the proof version. And the proof version is way cooler, I think, because if you look in the background of the helmet, the space helmet, kind of looking out in space, you got the proof background, so it's like black, like space, whereas the BU version is just kind of gray or matte. So if you're going to get this, I would, rec I would recommend the proof version, just because it looks cooler, in my opinion. But not silver, just clad, but just a cool piece to have in your collection if you like coins um, and not just gold and silver. So that is this set here. So we got the first and the second lowest minted half dollars. And then from what I can read or research, let's get this back in here, is that the third lowest would be from this set the 50th anniversary Kennedy half dollar silver coin collection. This is from 2014, I believe. Yes, we're gonna find out here. But again, space, I mean, this thing is huge. 
This thing is big, it takes up a lot of space. It can barely, it can't even fit it in the, in the picture, you know? So if you're gonna buy these, just think about where you're gonna put them, you know, cause they take up a lot of space. <laughs> but let's take this guy out. Uh, let me, I can do it here. Take that off, take this off. And then let's get this here. Get this out of the way. All right. So this is the actual set itself. And then let's first, let's get this set up over here on the side. All right. So if you first look in the red book, you can kind of see the vintages. Let's get it to focus again. So if you look at all the 2014 and the mint marks there, like the silver enhanced, the silver, the S, I guess there's a couple, the silver S, silver D, reverse proof. I guess I am leaving out the gold, the gold, the 2014 50th anniversary gold coin as uh, the second lowest minted half dollar, but that's kind of an outlier. That's gold. And then if you look at the actual coin set, let's take a look, see here. Let's get it to focus again. Ah, not the greatest angles here. So there's the reverse proof. Let me, um, kind of hard to take out too. I apologize about this angle. You guys don't really get the best look, but you can kind of see each coin here. Uncirculated, the un enhanced uncirculated, which pretty much looks like a proof, like a deep cameo proof almost. The regular proof and the masterpiece, the reverse proof. So really cool coin set here. And I'm um, going to try to wrap this up. So do you guys like to collect stuff like this? Is this um, in your wheelhouse, in your flavor of taste when you stack or collect? Or is this just not for you? Is this just like... No, this is coins. It's not even, I mean, it's silver technically, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of rambling here. So I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, the main points, do you guys collect the, any sort of coin sets? Uh, do you just go for what you like? Do you go for rarity? Do you go for what you think is going to go up in value later on in life down the road? Or do you just avoid them? And how do you store them? <laughs> That's just a question for me. How do you guys store these things? Um, all right. Hey, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.